Chris, can you talk about that last shot? Um, is that kind of a shot of a lifetime for you? Can you take us through the uh, calf cramps you were going through? I know you faced him in Vegas a little bit, and then you got yeah. the the sleep cycle like and stuff. Yeah, you know, my, I got my arms started you know, hydrating more, and you know, they tried, I think they helped me some stuff earlier to help me out before the game. Uh, I didn't accept it, I guess. I don't remember, but you know, I just got to take better precautions and you know, hydration and stuff, and that, you know, that helped me out. And uh, this is probably the loudest Paul has been on the year. Can you talk about if there's any kind of home court advantage, especially at the end of games? Jalen, what was your reaction to watching Chris hit that shot? Oh, it was, it was amazing. Uh, it was like slow, it was slow. Uh, I think the best part was I went to celebrate with him. He was on the ground, like, oh, get off of me, my man. That was like the best part. <laughs> uh, Jalen, in the second half, uh, the first 10 minutes, I think you scored or assisted at um, just about every basket. And then there, there was a two legs pass, though, that didn't end like it did last year. Can you take us through those? Just your playmaking ability being clicking, and then also the two legs pass too, though. Uh, you know, just uh, felt we needed some uh, scoring uh, plays. I felt we needed some of the big plays, so I tried to get downhill, get my shot off, and someone else's shot. Uh, the pass didn't work out, so it's cool. <laughs> next time, next time. Cody, what do you think you learned from a game like this where you have such a big lead in the second half and it suddenly goes away, but you pull pull out the win in the end somehow? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just good to have games like that, come out with a win and get the experience. And, you know, Coach Mark told me, Coach Mark told me, I'm done, so we're going to go back, watch them, and uh, see what we can do better. You guys have won three in a row now. Do you feel like you're starting to kind of click uh, as a team right now? Jalen, right here. Um, you've got three games with 10 or more assists. Um, last year, I mean, you, really, you weren't really carrying a team like that with your assists. Do you attribute that to having more bigs past you when you drive them? Uh, you know, our bigs do a great job. Uh, Cody does a great job finishing both J. Hill, all of them, uh, being like really good shooters. But, uh, so I'm, it's really all my teammates just making shots and making me really good. Uh, when you guys learn from facing their game zone, I think when they went into that defensively, you guys had that little drop there, but then you kind of were to finish in the end. What did you learn from facing that? Uh, I think it's something we definitely need to work on. I think uh, when they went in zone, it uh, affected us a lot. I think for me, it affected me not being able to like, get down in the paint and uh, make plays, but it's something we can always go back and film and look at. Uh, I think Coach said at the end, it's always better to uh, look over film in a win rather than a loss. So. Cody, with the way you guys finished the second half and the way you guys just closed or the, finished the first half defensively, held them scoreless for almost eight minutes, and then finish out the game to to win it on first shot. What makes you like most proud of this defensive effort today? Uh, I mean, that's something that we realized on in practice. The defense stops, so for us to go out there and guard like that. But as the time and spurt, uh, it was really good for us. So that's an improvement for us.